Alright. Alright guys. Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's a good sized fish right there. <laughs> I was almost asleep. All right, what's up guys? I am about to head out to um, Mill Creek. It's one of the places I like to fish. And uh, I'm, a, I'm gonna roll solo tonight. We got the boat ready. I went ahead and I rigged up this two battery system here um, to run these lights. And this is not the way I'm gonna have this work uh, when I get this all put together, but I was just kind of antsy to get out on the river. So it's kind of a way for me to run some lights tonight along with uh, spotlight and see if we can get some film. I got a light there and I got a spotlight over here. It's gonna, they actually raise up in the air about four feet higher so that I can see a lot further out and I've got light. So I'm gonna be interested to see how these things, you can see how that, you know, they actually do work pretty good. Uh, I'm, a, I'm interested to see how these things are gonna, how these things are actually gonna look on the water tonight. Plus, like I said, I do have my spotlight. I got the big net I've never used before. I'm gonna be getting bait from da da da, bait tank, and it is actually really Un <laughs> it's actually pretty unclear right now. The thing is, I, I had to put some uh, diatomitrous earth in there and it got some new filter filter going on there. So it'll be clear by tonight, but I'm gonna get some bait out of there. All right, guys, this is what we're gonna be using for bait tonight. We've got some crappie, We've got some good size, We've got some good size live, live baits in here, guys. So. So this is what we're going to be using tonight, guys, for bait. All right. Go ahead and get them into the live well here. Oh, lost one. These right here are perfect size. This is what I'm looking for. Flathead, good flathead bait right there. This guy's just massive. So it's actually, it's anywhere from 15 to 20 feet deep in here. I'm about to pull up on it right now. I'm going to be fishing on a point. There's going to be a creek on one side. And then this main uh, Kansas River channel is going to be like right to the left of me. So I'm going to just pull right up onto a point. That way I can fish into the creek, in the mouth of the creek, right outside of the creek, and also in the main channel also. So. I'm gonna kind of show you what's going on here. I haven't been here any, in a little since last year, so I hope everything's the same. But we'll go ahead and check it out.
So it looks like there, there's a large log right where I usually pull up, but I think I think we'll be fine. So we'll go ahead and, and pull up right next next to this tree. Interesting. So it looks like we've got a pretty good tree sitting here. Um, yeah. Like, I'm going to go ahead and still fish here. I'm just gonna cast my lines over that way, and if I have if I have to bring a fish in, I can either I can easily get on land right here and reel them in from land and get around this tree. But I still want to take advantage. I still want to take advantage of some of the um, the main channel here and the mouth of the creek. And this is still a good spot. I just wish this this massive tree wasn't here. You know, I I could move it, but. I wouldn't want anybody to feel embarrassed about how strong I am. So uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make it be like an obstacle at this point. If I have to get around it or over it, I'll do so. Um, should not be a big deal. I just didn't think it'd be here. So all right, start fishing. Check out these spotlights. They're very high in the air, and they do shine pretty bright out there in the water. All right. <clears throat> I got good sized perch on here. That's gonna be my first bait. Here is going to be second bait. Bait number four, we're gonna go into the creek. Fish out.
got a flathead. Alright guys, got a nice little flathead, beautiful color, I like that guy, caught him right in the, right in the corner right there, get him right out of there, alright guys, so, got a good old flatty out of that one. Right. He's a little guy, but um, yeah, that's the first bite of the night. Let's see what we can get. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and let this one uh, back in. We'll rebate back up, see what we can get. Ooh. All right, we're going to send this big guy out there. See what we can get. Looks like he's gonna do well. It was, it was taking it away, so. It's kind of weird. It took it all the way from over there to, to where it is now. So, I mean, it could be gar, but it seems like flathead. It, we're on the spawn here. We just, we just started on the spawn here, so. Um, they're getting a little bit aggressive when they do bite, so. Hopefully we see a little bit more of that, you know. See, look, look at it. It, it. Take down right now. Take down. It's acting really weird. No, 
Nope. Still on there. Whatever it is. Oh. Another flathead. Oh, wow. Yeah. Whoa. See how on the spot. See, they're kind of crazy right now, but hook them right in the mouth. Right there. Right the edge. Oh. It's a good looking, good looking flathead right there. Good looking flathead. So. Yep. It's got like these blacks, these cool black spots. Really, really interesting. Kind of mixed in with that yellow, but that tail is really cool. They're hit, but they're hitting on live bait tonight, so I'm gonna continue. I was almost about to switch up to cut bait, but I'm about to just keep going with live bait. And uh, that was two hits, two fish in the last five minutes, so I'm gonna keep on with it. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let this beautiful. <laughs> this guy's fly is so cool. It's got black on his his uh, lower fins, everything. It's it's pretty cool. So let him all let him go. Let's just get another live bait on there. Yeah, let's get something bigger. I wanna get something bigger. I wanna get a big one, a big boy. I'm gonna go ahead and go with um, just an, whoa. That's, that's what I wanna see. I just wanna see, I just did an average size, you know, bluegill. I wanna, I'm gonna go ahead, put him on. we can get all right guys we're gonna go see what we can get with this guy all right Ugh. okay See if that works.
Oh, yeah. Woo. Okay. All right, guys. Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's a good sized fish right there. <laughs> I was almost asleep. Oh, that's a good one. I'm gonna get a weight on him. Oh, he's heavy. Okay. Whew. This guy just woke me up. <clears throat> oh wow, he's big. He's real big. All right, let's get a weight on him. All right, guys. Oh, yeah, he's a big one. Oh. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. Awesome, awesome fish. Awesome fish. All right, guys, he's right at 40 pounds. Oh. That's an awesome flathead right there, guys. All right. Woo, it's heavy. Oh, that's what we come out here for. <laughs> he woke me up. Peel and drag. All right. There it is. It's a 40 pounder.
the door. Oh. Looks like the car are out. I think that's my time to go. <laughs> uh, I've been getting these real weird, like, like bites that, that vibrate the pole a little bit. And so a lot of times when that happens, I mean, it's the gar, gar's messing with your bait, so. Um, yeah. Might be just about time for me to pack it up. Uh, the wife's not gonna be very happy with me because we've got something to do. We have <laughs> something planned in about four hours. And I've been out all night, so. I better get home. <laughs> but hey, it was a good night. We got I got three flatheads. We got two two smaller, about about a seven to ten pounds on both of them. And then that last one we weighed was forty pounds. So it's been a good night. But I'm not gonna stick around for the gar.